Hey guys! iPod, the revolutionary music player. So you all probably heard the news that Apple decided to stop selling the 2019 7th generation iPod Touch, the last iPod in their store, marking an end to the iPod legacy that started in 2001. But why did Apple stop selling them? Why did people move on? Today, we find out, because I'm gonna be seeing if I can use an iPod in, wait for it, 2022! <laughs> Old tech in the current year? Mass hysteria! Earth ending event! Do not attempt. But which one should I pick? Well, to get the full range of iPod experience, I'm gonna use the very first one and the previously mentioned very last one. Now before we begin, I should tell the new viewers to this channel to drop a like, subscribe, and don't look at any other videos on this channel before watching this. Don't. Well, maybe except for the video where I see if I can use an old MacBook in 2018, but only that one. Enjoy! The first iPod from 2001 is here! And the best part is, I didn't have to pay a dime for it. How so? Well, my uncle who lives in China made it. As in, he made something out of his life, so he's crazy rich, and he had multiple of these in his iPod collection. So he sent me one. What do you think I meant when I said he made it in China? Hmm? Just kidding! Your assumption was right! Because he does work at Foxconn, and he snuck one of these home in 2001, and he sent it to me to get rid of the evidence, because they just started investigating him. Let's unbox it. Now this is probably very collectible, so we want to be very careful opening this box. <laughs> Fuck! Come with me. Get back under! Whatever. Cardboard decomposes quickly anyway. Unlike the plastic used in the 2019 iPod Touches box, it will decompose for centuries, so it will never become collectible. I just walked into Best Buy and was able to buy one off the showroom floor. Unlike the first generation iPod box, we don't have to open it with care. <laughs> with these iPods free from their cages, unlike my uncle and his co-workers. Let's see if they can be used in 2022! Starting with the first iPod from 2001, the design is pretty heavy and unwieldy. Look how easily it wants to leave my hand. Even when I flip on this hold switch, it still slips easily out of my hand. It's useless, so might as well remove it. Like a kidney. People today still drop their thin and light phones, so this design and weight wouldn't fly today, figuratively and literally. And the polished aluminum back scratches way too easily. Luckily, we could give it a better look. Wow! Look at that beautiful new pattern! Fits in much better with the times. Let's turn it on! Ew! A black and white display? What is this? A graphing calculator? I thought iPods were supposed to be fun, not remind me of algebra. I stopped going to school several years ago, so this graphing calculator screen is another thing on it that aged horribly. Not too many touchscreens existed back then, so to control this iPod, it has a physical scroll wheel that moves. To best illustrate this... See? It's probably to emulate the rotary phones they had back then or something. Another thing you don't want to use or be reminded of in 2022. Also, the downside to old moving parts is that they can break easily. Watch. No! Not like that! Not yet, anyway. I meant from regular use. The scroll wheel doesn't work on this unit, and most of the buttons don't work either. Can we fix it? No, we can't. Apple would never release products with parts that would randomly stop working with regular use these days. 
The only surviving buttons are the center button and the play pause button. So the only thing you can do on this iPod is navigate to the one song loaded onto it, which is Lamborghini by KSI. At least it's a song all the kids are still listening to in 2022, when they're tired of their sense of hearing. Can we load new music onto it? No. Due to this old connector Apple no longer uses called water wire or something. No normal person in 2022 has a Mac with this part, making it once again unusable! Might as well seal it up. Perfect! Goodbye, useless port! Oh, forgot about charging. Well, there goes the one thing I was gonna praise it for. The battery that still holds a charge and lasts for a while in 2022! It was impressive until now! At least eventually you can stop listening to KSI Lamborghini. And with the included earphones, that's a good thing, due to the sound quality and everyone being used to wireless headphones in 2022. And that concludes my time with the first generation iPod! Can it be used in 2022? Yes! If you're a really niche KSI fan that likes that specific song, and hates hearing... Now let's see if the 2019 iPod Touch is usable in 2022. And I think it is! I was able to restore it with the backup from my iPhone, and all the apps I use on a daily basis are here. Well, except for the phone app. But I was tired of getting calls every few months from my dementia-ridden mom anyway. King, answer the phone! I fallen and I forgot the number to 911! It's almost like a modern iPhone! Wait. Now it's a modern iPhone! I'm gonna replace mine with this iPod and take it everywhere I go! What? I'm not connected everywhere I go? Bullshit! This is 2022, not 1984. So, is it usable in 2022? Oh, I missed you so much! Mwah, 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 mwah. Yes. If you're using it to remind yourself why Apple stopped selling iPods and why everyone moved on to iPhones. Oh, I almost forgot about the most important comparison between these two. The thing that makes the world and my channel go round. Money! How easy is it to buy each of these in 2022? Well, for the 2019 iPod Touch, ever since Apple announced that they were going to stop making them, they have since completely sold out on their website. But I was able to walk into my Best Buy again and buy another identical one for its retail price of only $1.99. I'm going to keep it in the box and keep it mint for my iPod collection. Now what about the 2001 iPod? I also want another one complete in the box for the collection. The first iPod can't be that desirable, right? Holy fucking shit! The ad revenue for this video isn't gonna pay for that. I blame a certain YouTuber for those high iPod prices. And I would ask my uncle in China to see if he has another one, but I just received the sad news today that he couldn't take working at Foxconn anymore and decided to take his life into his own hands, and quit his job at Foxconn, and in the process, get rid of everything he stole from there. So no more Apple products from him. Dang. But, I have an idea!
There! Now it looks like the destroyed first-gen iPod from the hit movie Baby Driver. A quick post to eBay, and surely someone will fall for it. Ooh, $10,000 offer. Declined. No lowballers. I'll get enough money for another first-gen iPod eventually. Can I end this mess of a video yet? And so with that, thank you guys for what. Oh no! The annoying tech repair advocates are here! Ugh! Ugh, oh, fine. I guess to appease them, I'll do a segment on the repairability of these iPods too. <laughs> Repairability score for both of them? 0 out of 10. But let's check the official way to repair them too. So I was wondering if they could get this iPod repaired. Oh goodness, dude. Um, <laughs> I think the options are going to be super limited. First of all, super rad getting to see this thing. I think the last time I saw one was my own. It gets to a certain level, my friend, where um, things are no longer supported at Apple stores. Just mainly yeah. because we don't manufacture or build those items anymore. Have you guys seen this thing before, by the way? I have one. Yeah, I have one. I love to hear that. <laughs> yeah, that thing was in a car accident. Oh no, are you okay? Yeah. My advice would be truthfully to buy a new one. You could oh, recycle okay. it or trade it in. There wouldn't be any trade in value. I'll probably just keep it. That's Thank you. Good, yeah, of course, man. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, I wish I could replace it for you. Okay, thank you. That was the best part of my day so far, and I just got here. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Mr. King, nice to meet you, dude. So, I was wondering if this can be repaired? Ooh. No. no. It can't? <laughs> no. So, um... So, this is quite... Yeah, a little kid got angry at it, and oh my yeah. Gosh. It happens. So yeah, the first gen iPod still sits at a 0 out of 10 on the repairability score, but the 7th generation iPod Touch now gets a negative 2 out of 10, because they wouldn't repair it despite it not being on the obsolete products list yet. I'm mad! So, I changed my mind. I'm now gonna join your cause, annoying tech repair advocates. Ugh, they're never satisfied. And so with that, Thank you guys for watching, comment, like, and subscribe, just get a Zune, and I'll see you guys later. Bye! For a device to be considered useful in 2022, they have to be waterproof. Obsolete!